I'm going to show you a demonstration today that will astonish you. This is a rotary flux generator system right here, from here over to here. And I typically use it with my 24 volt solar. Uh, I've got one solar panel and then it uses this system here and it charges up uh, four high performance batteries and four other deep cycle batteries. It all runs through the MPPT and remote controls and then comes out of this inverter and plugs in and runs my equipment. All right, so this thing, this thing runs at uh, 230 volts at 19 amps uh, AC, or it uh, runs 460 volts at uh, nine and a half amps. Either way, it's 4,370 uh, volt amps reactive, which is VAR, which is going to be a little bit uh, higher than the actual watts. So let's just call the actual watts, which uh, we'll read watts on, on this watt meter here. Uh, at uh, 4,000 watts. Okay, so 4,000 watts. Wow, that's a lot. And this 1,770 RPM. This is the this is the rotor here. Uh, I call this system uh, a rotaflux. Like I said, it's a rotary flux generator, and I'll explain why. These so these these are rotary flux toroids here, and and like I said, this spins at 1,770 RPM. It's got N52 magnets here, north south north south, and uh, then uh, we've got it's got dual coils on each each one pr produces 26 volts and this is 26 volts and I've got them connected in parallel so it boosts the current up and still uh, keep the 26 volts for the 24 volt system that's down here we're not going to use this stuff down here at all it's totally disconnected so this is totally independent right now this and this and this all right so um, what uh, the other power that comes off of this, this is kind of amazing too, is uh, right here these, these two little wires. I don't have them hooked up to the bridge rectifiers, but they go back here in this, and then they go into the control panel box. And here there's a bridge rectifier in here, and it takes the third phase of this, and turns it into a rotary transformer, and it gets rectified inside here, it comes out in the form of DC to here at uh, 40 volts. So what I normally do is I just take that 40 volts with a 26, put them all together in parallel, and then just throw them into the MPPT and let it sort it out and, you know, power the system. So that's what it is. Now, I only have one solar panel. It's like a 300 watt panel. So it's like, wow, you know, what, what are you going to do with, you know, 4,000 watt motor? Holy cow. How are you going to, how do you, how are you going to, you know, where's the advantage to that? I know it doesn't, it doesn't sound crazy, but what I'm going to show you that's going to astonish you that this whole thing is gonna that's gonna run this giant motor. It's gonna uh, it's gonna make these into generators and produce the power here, and it's gonna run this variac, uh, and it's all gonna be running on this one little cap module. Now this is the amazing part. It's how in the world can this run all of this and generate electricity at the same time? How can it do it? Well, it's really simple. This isn't running on 4,000 watts. This is going to be running on 30 watts. I've got it rewired, and I've got it fine-tuned with, I must have went through, a, I don't know, 10 or 15 different capacitors, AC capacitors to, to tune this thing. But uh, it usually starts up at about 31, 32 watts, which you'll see on the, on the meter shortly here. And, um, and then after about 20 minutes or so, it'll drop down to like 28 or 29 watts and still run <laughs> all of this. So what I'm going to do, what I'm going to show you is down here, this, this cord is my mains uh, power cord. And this is, the, this is the cord here that goes to the variac. It's going to plug into the mains, and it's going to start this. Now, why do I have to do that? Because over here, the inverter is, as you can see, it's only a 300-watt inverter. It's pure sine wave because you need that for the, when it hits the resonance in this motor which is interesting, and you'll hear that too, and you'll see it on the, on the little light on here. It gets real bright, and then you hit the switch, and it, when it goes into resonance, you hit the switch, and then it drops everything down, the, the power consumption and everything. But this is 300 watts, and this usually requires, to start this system, about uh, 450 watts. So, because it's just a tiny little inverter, but that was part of the demonstration. I wanted this side right here, <clears throat> excuse me, this... Uh, this little uh, graphene cap module that we sell, we've been selling these for over a year now, and I've sold hundreds of these. Usually somebody will buy one, and they'll come back and they'll buy more, because you can build a whole system with these things. And I've explained a hundred times that these things will start a four-cylinder engine, a, you know, automotive engine, 
combustion combustion engine, four cylinder, six cylinder, and even an eight cylinder engine. These are super super powerful. That's how it can run this this whole system and do its thing. And I'm going to prove that to you and show you. So I'll go ahead and and like I said, I'll plug this in to the mains. I'll plug this into the mains and it only takes a few seconds for this to start up and then it makes this loud sound and the light gets real bright you hit the switch it's in resonance so then I'll unplug this and I'll plug the Variac here into the uh, the inverter here the little 300 watt inverter that's powered by this so so this little cap module is gonna run this inverter it's gonna run this motor it's going to run this Variac. It's going to make electricity here and here from the third phase rotary transformer, at which would which would typically would feed this. But that's not the demonstration today. The demonstration today is to show you how this little thing can run all of this equipment and still generate electricity. And not only that, not only that, but it doesn't just do this for like one minute or two minutes or five minutes. It'll do it for about an hour and 15 minutes continuously. And the only reason it, it, it stops at that point is because when when this 16 volts drops down to about, uh, I think it's a 11, 11 volts or 11 and a half volts, I think it's 11 and a half, that it automatically cuts it off. And so you're only using from 16 down to 11 and a half. I mean, you got a lot more energy that's still stored in this, and it still has run this system for like an hour and 15 minutes. Okay, so let me uh, let me go ahead and put the camera on the tripod for a second here, and then I'll plug this in. And I'll show you on the camera, and then we'll we'll go ahead and do that and 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 plug it into this and and take it from there. Okay, just to orient you. Uh, the motor cord is right here and it plugs into the watt meter and the watt meter cable is right here and it plugs into the Variac over here and this is the Variac and the and the mains and I'll plug these together in just a second but what I'm going to do is I'm going to start it with 120 volts on this which I could get out of the little inverter but I, again you know I need uh, 450 watts to get this started to, for a few seconds to hit resonance on this then turn it off and plug into this so what I'll do is once it uh, starts up I'll turn the I'll turn the Variac down to about uh, 60 volts and that's the that's the voltage it likes to run at and you'll see where it is then going to be uh, consuming about 31 or 32 watts which will drop down to about 30 pretty quickly and then even lower than that after a little bit of time so let's go ahead and start this so I've got this plugged in all I have to do now is turn on the switch on the Variac over here and watch it start up listen to the sound that it hits before I hit the switch over it's on the back side this gets real bright you can't see it, it might be off frame there. And then I hit the switch. Now this is the volts. It's showing on the meter. I don't, let me zoom in on that so you can see it. All right, so it's 124 volts that's drawing right now. So I'm going to turn the Variac down to 60. Okay, that's close enough. 60.5. We're going to live with that. And this is spinning at 1,770 RPM. And this is uh, producing electricity right now. This is also producing electricity. And we've got it, uh, this is still on. It's going to remain running. Okay, so right now, well, that's even better. Okay, so right now we're running at uh, 29 point whatever watts. That's the actual watts that this system is demanding and so let me put the camera back on the tripod and we'll disconnect the mains and plug it into the little graphene cap module all right oops sorry okay so let me go ahead and turn the little inverter on here and 
here again is the mains power and I have to do this pretty quickly so let's just go ahead and plug it right in don't need that anymore now we're running the whole entire system on this little graphene cap module which is running this running this running this generating electricity and let's see we're because I unplugged it it, it uh, automatically goes back to volts so we're still at 60 volts which is good so let's just hit the the watts and we're at okay that's fine 28 <laughs> 28 to 30 watts so it's going to vary a little bit and it's ready to go it's ready to uh, use the power from here and the power from here connect them together cable it down to the MPPT and let it do its thing for the for the 24 volt system there but the objective of this video is to show you how powerful these little modules are this is what product of ours so this this is what I'm selling is this this is unique I mean this is mine uniquely and the Rotoflux design is my own design and, and uh, so you know that's another product for later but and, and I've got other products beyond that that I'm that I'm working on too that still utilize this because this has a ton of energy and that's why I'm saying it this is a great time to, to get we've got a bunch of these in stock we've got more of them than uh, that we're getting made uh, having made right now so um, so it's going to be a really good time to, to order if you want one but I want to show you what this does and you're seeing it right now there's it's not connected to anything over here not connected to anything back here nothing it's just this is running this going over to here running into the motor <laughs> going through the watt meter in the, in the process and uh, you're probably seeing something like this for the first time. So this is it. This is it. So anyway, well, thanks for hanging in there with me.